Hey, what's up, team? I just wanted to make a quick video for you so we could talk about bands for a minute. Graham says hi. I'm not going to apologize for that because that's my life. So. First of all, let's go through these things. These are called therabands. A theraband is short for therapeutic. They're usually lighter in weight. This one is probably four to five pounds of resistance. They usually come in sets of three to four, but you can buy, you know, entire hundred foot rolls if you, you know, run a practice. This is what we used in the uh, clinical setting when I did neuropathy class and um, rehab, post rehab with the senior citizens. But these are also great if you practice yoga or you want to get just a little bit of resistance without putting on too much strain on your joints or muscles. You know, put the, wrap that around your foot and do a couple hundred, oh yeah, a couple hundred kickbacks. You're gonna be feeling it. Next band, let's just go through these real quick and then we'll, we'll talk about the use. You can buy a band like this. These are big, heavy duty rubber bands. I call them uh, exercise loops or whatnot. So these are all different weights. Usually you can buy like a set of four or five. This one's five pounds. This one's 12 pounds. This one's up to 60 pounds. So this is the type of band you would use to strap to your, your cage or your rack or pull-up bar. And you could loop your feet into this and it could help pull you back up uh, during a pull-up. Alternatively, you could use a band like this. Uh, you know, step on one end. Then you could do some curls or an overhead press and get some resistance. Last one. <laughs> funny. Pretty funny, huh? This is a set of bands I got at Dick's Sporting Goods. The handles are separate. This one is like, it's called fitness gear. So I bought the handles by themselves and then we've got 30, 20, 40. There's also a 10 pound band. And these things are pretty cool because you can, um, as you can see, you can loop multiple bands onto your handles and then create your own custom weight. These things are effective if you have a home gym and you do not have a cable machine. For example, I could loop this around my cage and I could stand here and do behind the head overhead tricep extensions, or you can do a pull, a row, or even a sort of a lat pull down. You can do a lot of things besides just bicep curls with bands. Okay, so what will we use this for? So I had a client and she told me that she can't do push-ups because of her wrist. Now I've encountered this before. Um, we're gonna get a band, okay? So for this example specifically, we're gonna do a chest press with a band. So what I want you to do is get your band. I'll show you how to do this with all three. We're gonna loop it around under our arms, okay? Thumb loop right here. Get it up under your armpits. You don't need to be all the way against the wall unless you really want to, but then you're just gonna push your hands straight out. This is gonna take some of the pressure off the wrist. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? Straight out. Uh, depending on the strength of the band, it's totally dependent on you and where you're at. Obviously, I wouldn't use a 60 pound band, it'd probably be too hard to get away from your body, and the snapback that you lost your grip would be unbearable. So, you have to be careful. These things can snap, um, especially if you leave them outside, they're made of rubber so they can dry out. So, it's best to keep stuff like this inside. Now, if you are really concerned about your wrist, I might even do one at a time. And what I would do is I'm just going to put this on the floor and stand on one end. I'm just going to angle this down so you can see that. So I stand on it, right? And I'm not going to hold it like this. I'm going to reverse my grip don't need that anymore. Now you know what I'm doing? Like this. Not like this. Like this. Palm up. Then you're going to bring your hand. I'll do it from the side. We're going to bring it straight up like this. 
just raise it up in the front. I'm gonna hit the pectoralis. It's a front raise, but what I want you to do is bring your hand towards the center of your midline, right here, right above the sternum. So look here, it's gonna come right up in the middle. Now if you put your hand here on your pec, you can feel it working as you move all the way through. This is gonna take a lot of the strain off your wrist and put it all in your hands and fingers, okay? Now, if you want to get more upper chest, okay, upper pec, it's all one slab, but there's a striation here. So if you want to get this part, you want to bring your hand above your clavicle. Clavicle is the collarbone. So, see, it's higher, it's up here, and if you feel, you could feel it right there. If I had a tank top on, you could probably see right there. If we bring it low in, into the middle, and hit the lower part of the chest. So that's a low to high band fly. If you had two of these, you could do two double low to high band fly, right? Just like a cable machine at, at the gym. It's the same thing. You're going to go slow because it's all about the squeeze and the tempo. It's not about the weight. have one of these this thing can act double as a handle so same thing you grab it just like that you can step on it I've got this in my hand it's easy to grab like this same thing low to high cross the midline cross the midline pause at the top straight up Okay, two. On the side. We'll cross it over. You know, this thing, the handles, you could actually stand right in the middle of your band. I'll show you that one. Stand right on it. Make sure these are even. Okay? Even Stevens. Remember that show? Even Stevens? Okay. Bring it here. You're gonna bring them up right in the middle. Ooh, that's too heavy. What is that? 50 pounds. Okay, so pretend it's it's a lot lighter. In theory, it's the same thing. You're gonna bring it up, bring your hands together, you're gonna get the center of the chest. One more time with the TheraBand, under the arms, okay, grab it like this, nice and tight. We're not just going to punch like this, even though you could do that, we're going to push straight out. So remember, angle matters, push down and low, lower chest, this is called the angle of influence. Follow the line from my hand to my chest. It's gonna hit right here, okay? Consider the angle that you are pressing away from your body at. Push straight out. That's the most similar to a push-up. Straight out, follow the line. Straight to the middle. Upper chest, incline. Push up. And then bring your hands together into a triangle. Or so your knuckles of your thumbs touch. You can also do it like this too if you want. You would do the same thing with dumbbells in a dumbbell chest press. Put it from the side. Oops. So low, middle, high. Upper chest, center chest, Lower chest. Do a fly too if you want. Flies are better with dumbbells though. Let's just be honest. All right. Well, this little tutorial on bands. You can buy those online. You can get them on Amazon. They'll ship them to your house. It'll be there probably in a couple hours. Uh, you can buy the big bands. I got those on Amazon. 
and um, the fitness gear with the with the handles and the loop. The, this one, this one, sporting goods. This one, Amazon. This one. About that this one you can probably order online too but you can buy these in a set too you either sometimes they're advertised as yoga bands but it's the official name it's called a theraband okay all right guys hope that helps out like share and subscribe do all that fun stuff really appreciate it, it helps the channel grow keep lifting